an amazing morning. I woke up at five, uh, got dressed to work out, did some strength training, upper body today, got on the treadmill, ran a couple miles, and the kids already had breakfast and they're they're all ready. It, did Captain America come to our house this morning? <laughs> oh. Guys, we have the cutest Captain America in our house this morning and we have Minnie Mouse. Hello. Hello. Beautiful girl. So we're making beds right now. We're gonna head on over to the school to drop the kids off for the day. It's a, another busy day. We um, have two more days. <laughs> He's such a cutie. <laughs> Peter's feeling so much better. The fever went away and he is in tip top shape back to his chaotic self. Causing a ruckus. Today's a busy day. We have guys come in to fix our flooring finally. There's gaps where they didn't push the flooring together when they installed it. And then I need to go back to the post office and get our key finally for our mailbox. It's been, uh, we bought our house over two months ago and we still don't have a mailbox. And I know people on the street that purchased their home months ago and they have been having to drive to the post office a few times a week to get their mail. All right, guys. All right, guys, you ready to go to school? You guys are crazy. No playing on the stairs. All right, let's get ready to go to school. I just got home from the post office, and I am very pleased to let you guys know we finally have mailbox keys. We have three of them, in fact. I don't know why we need three, but I don't care. We have mailbox keys. I'm so excited. I don't have to take at least two days out of my week, which takes about an hour and a half out of the day to go all the way to the post office, wait in that long line to get my mail and make my way back home. So I am so excited. I could just finally be like a normal person, go right up the street to my mailbox, because I have keys to get my mail. I put a post in the community chat right when I got into my car to let everybody know on the street that does not have a mailbox to go contact the post office and see if they have keys as well. So hopefully that will be good news for everybody that does not have a mailbox here. I cannot believe it took this long for us to get a simple mailbox on our street. We closed on our house two months ago. There's many families here that closed on their house at the beginning of the year and still did not have a mailbox. That is really sad. And the post office was blaming it on the builder and the builder was blaming everything on the post office. I even contacted the HOA and they said they couldn't do anything about it. So I ended up being kind of the middleman of just complaining all the time, calling the post office uh, 800 number getting someone on the phone who was just telling me the same thing that I need to contact the builder. When I contact the builder, they either didn't return my call or told me that they would email the post office and I don't know if they actually did or not. And when they finally did call back, they would just spend uh, 10 minutes of my time telling me that it's all the post office's um, responsibility at this point. But it's done, it's a done deal. I have keys to my mailbox. If you guys are uh, buying a new build and they tell you that you have a mailbox with your keys inside or you need to go down to the post office to get your keys for your mailbox, don't believe them. Have the realtor and the builder or one or the other take you to the mailbox, show you where your mailbox is and at least you know you have a mailbox assigned to your home and you could go down to the post office and get your keys or your keys might be inside that box. You don't wanna just take someone's word on this because this is way too long to not have a box on your street. Look who's home. <laughs> How was your day at school, buddy? Good. What was your favorite moment of the day? I just went, I just went to the concert. You went to a concert? Uh-huh, well, uh, just like, uh, the gym. Oh, the a gym. concert at the gym? Uh-huh. In the gym. Nice. Was it fun? Uh-huh. And, and, and the noise grew here. Like my ears. 
Do you mean it was loud? Uh-huh. Yeah. Concerts can get loud. But I just went into it, but I didn't dance. Were there some kids dancing? Uh-huh. In the classroom. Oh. You didn't want to dance today? No. That's okay. But I just, I just, I just stamped my feet. Oh, you stomped your feet? Uh-huh. Nice. I stomp my feet sometimes when I have good music on. Do you want to walk to the mailbox with me? Uh-huh. Okay. Go get your shoes on. Bella, sit. You want to go for a walk? Yeah? 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 You want to go for a walk? Yeah? <laughs> you excited? Yeah? Okay, we'll get your collar, all right? You want to put the collar on her? You don't know what to do, do you? All right, she's waiting for you. She's waiting. Put the collar on her. Be careful with her neck. Peter's got the key. You're such a goofball. Oh, Peter, you know what I need? No. I need the paper. We have to go back home and get the paper. We're back in the house. I forgot this little paper. You need this little paper because it'll tell me exactly which box we have. So we're gonna go back to the mail boxes and see which one is ours. Bella is excited to get out. Okay, ready to go again? Uh-huh. Round two. Mom, can I hold this? Yes. Now turn it to the right. There you go. Now open it. Pull out the key. There you go. We have mail in there. It's junk mail. Go get it. Go get it. Oh. All right. Neighbor just reached out to me to let me know that there's free car washes at the new car wash down the road. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do before the flooring guys come their windows between 12 and 5 so we need to get over there right away all right we made it to the car wash uh they suckered me into getting a three month plan for ten dollars a month which really isn't too bad so you could wash your car anytime vacuum anytime you want um i may cancel for after the three months i, I don't know we'll see how it goes but they're also going to be serving free tacos later on so i'll have to send adam over here when he gets off work you ready to go through the car wash? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You guys like the car wash, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's like an amusement park, but in your car. I guess I go in the color. Uh -huh. Colors they give us today, huh? Ooh, what color is that? home I ended up vacuuming the car as well it is super hot out there when we got home Peter dumped some animal crackers all over the back seat and then he told me mom I think you're gonna have to wash the car again tomorrow so <laughs> I just may have to vacuum again tomorrow because of the mess he just made kind of reminds me of a story I want to tell you guys real quick when I was just getting to meet my in-laws. I had known them for a very small amount of time. They flew to San Diego to visit Adam and I when we were living there. And they saw my car for the very first time at the airport. And it was a, a Jetta, very small car, but it worked for me. Bought that car when I lived out in Germany and it was a great car at the time. 
But once they got into my car, they noticed how clean it was and their first comment was, hmm, very clean car. So when you have kids, it's not gonna be this clean. And in the back of my mind, I told, my, I told myself that, yeah, right, I'm gonna keep my car very, very clean. There's no way I'm gonna let it get really dirty. Believe it or not, <laughs> The moment we started having kids, we started getting crumbs all over the car. You get a dog and then you have dog hair all over the seats and on the carpets. Um, but our car is eternally uh, filled with either Cheerios, um, pretzels, uh, Cheez-Its, fishies, all those crackers that you can think of, any kind of cereal you can think of. Even though we vacuum out the car, the next day there is more food on the ground. So right now I am going to try to find some tape in the garage so that I can mark the floor for the spots that they need to fix. It seems like every time I look at the ground, I'm finding new areas for them to patch up. I just closed this garage door and noticed there's a space right there. It actually looks like it was uh, cut incorrectly. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape there. Peter boy is over there screaming, Mom, I'm hungry. So I'm making him a peanut butter and honey sandwich. I think this is his second lunch today. I think his plan is to eat two lunches every day so that he does not have to eat his vegetables at dinner. Right, Bella? Right? Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Yeah? Wanna go outside? Want to enjoy the day outside? Yeah. All right, Peter, your sandwich is ready. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to get here. Absolutely not. What do you say? Uh, no. What do you say? Flooring guys haven't come yet, so kids won't be able to play at the playground today. They're not going to be too happy about it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> he could have used some time at the playground. This kid has so much energy. Jane, how was your day at school? Okay, tell me about this hairdo. Gosh. Jane, what happened to your hair? I sent you to school with a nice little bow. What happened? Um, I tried something in it, in it, in it, and I take it out. Why did you take it out? Because um, I need to try something. What were you trying? Um, a mask. Oh, you're wearing masks at school? Yeah, I'm at, I need a mask at three centers. It's not what? Peter, sit down. Mom, what did I tell you about school? Uh, you said, what uh, did you say about school? A day, I just have a concert. Oh, that's right. And I, I saw Peter, Peter didn't say hi to me. <gasps> Peter, you didn't say hi to Jane? Yeah, um, Peter, um, Peter didn't, Peter waved away, um, okay, mom. Mom, so mom. he probably didn't hear you or so see you? Jane here has some crazy hair going on after her her bath and <laughs> I'm gonna show it to you before I let you guys go. Whoa, and you even have some a little tail here. A little 80s action kind of going on. <laughs> and you're you're a puppy tonight. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And again, thank you for tagging along with us today. See you guys soon.